we're ready to start part A of this titration. And at part A, we are located here at the very beginning where we have not added any sodium hydroxide yet. Now for um, this reaction and all of the problems that I'm going to do at this point, instead of writing this whole formula for butanoic acid, I'm just going to use HA to represent that um, from this point forward. So I just want you to be aware that that's what I'm going to do. So here at the beginning, it is not a titration problem yet. We just have a weak acid in solution. And so we would do it as a chapter 15 problem, a weak acid um, in water. And so let's work through that. Here's my reaction. HA is in the presence of water. It will be in equilibrium with A minus and H3O plus. There is the reaction that is occurring. I will create an ICE table for this. We look at the concentration, and because that's what we put into an ICE table, we put molarity, or, well, we'll just say molarity, and the molarity of this solution is 0 0.249. So we will place that there. We don't care about the water. These are zero at the beginning. A word about this zero is it not? It is not really zero. The value is really 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. And for most cases, we can just assume that that's so small, let's not worry about its value uh, beyond a zero. So some of this will get consumed. I will produce these, and as I am used to doing, we end up bringing our uh, E-line down, and these they are the amounts that we have. Now the value for butanoic acid, Ka, is given up there in the problem, but let's write the expression first. Ka would be the A minus concentration, which is, um, well, let's just say it's A minus concentration times the H3O plus concentration divided by the HA concentration at equilibrium. Well, these values we see written right up there, and Ka is 1.54 times 10 to the minus 5, and that is going to be equal to, by looking at the table, x squared over 0 0.249 minus x. Now, let's make the assumption that x is very, very small compared to the um, amount of, or compared to the amount that we started with. So we're going to assume that it's very, very small, and we're going to ignore this term. So to solve for x, we would have 1.54 times 10 to the minus 5 times 0.249. And that is going to be equal to x squared. So x would be the square root of that value, okay, of all of that, 1.54 times 10 to the minus 5 times 0 0.249. All of that will give me the value of x. Turns out that x is equal to 1.96 times 10 to the minus 3. And this is a very small value. Um, our assumption is not bad. Let's see, my 1 didn't show up there, so let's make a 1. And this has got units of molarity, and the minus didn't show up. Got to keep an eye on that. Okay, so that's the molarity, and we think about what x represents. As we look up in this table, x represents the H3O plus concentration. So we can say that this is the H3O plus concentration. And that's handy because if we want to calculate the pH, pH is the negative log of that H3O plus concentration. So it's a negative log of 1.96 times 10 to the negative 3. This gives a pH equal to 2.7. A brief word about significant figures. The number of digits you see in your H plus concentration is the number of places past the decimal point on this value.